competing fronts for cores to find surface reconstruction. Given a point set sampled from a 3D object, we present an algorithm to reconstruct the object's shape using a deformable model. Our deformable model is represented as an unstructured triangle mesh which evolves to fit the target shape. Our goal is to bring the mesh sufficiently close to the target shape to ensure that the normal projection of the mesh to the target is injective. Our technique guarantees water tightness of the result and allows simple tracking of topological events. Here we can see that a handle attached to the mesh increases the object's genus by one. In general, 3D objects may not only be complex topologically but also contain details in various scales. Furthermore, the scans of such objects may be noisy, they may have different sample rates in different regions, and even contain gaps, cracks, and missing pieces. Note how our deformable model completes the large missing parts in this example naturally. In this video, the dynamic model evolvement of the examples shown is slowed down for illustration purposes. Our model adopts a coarse to fine approach while deforming. The model includes multiple evolving fronts at different locations. The evolution of the fronts develops in an iterative manner by moving the vertices in outward normal direction. The movement is guided by an attraction field imposed by the point set. In each iteration, new positions for the front vertices are computed by solving a constrained Laplacian system. This keeps the mesh as smooth as possible during its movement. The fronts of our deformable model always march in outward normal direction with a speed defined by the distance value. Thus, they can move uphill as well as downhill passing over local extrema of the guidance field. Such process is demonstrated here where the front is stepping from a blue region uphill into a red region. The coarse to fine approach is realized using multiple competing fronts in different level of coarseness. In this example, the fronts enter and fill broader parts of the foot before the narrow fingers. Each front is assigned a tension factor, refraining or allowing greater adaptivity. Coarse fronts evolve faster than finer fronts, reconstructing coarse features of the shape before the finer ones. This 2D illustration shows how our approach avoids early penetration of the fronts into small tunnels. The two fronts, shown here in orange, compete to penetrate through two different tunnels. A single level evolvement with no competition might have created this non-intuitive result. By advancing the coarser front first, our deformable model penetrates the hand first and then completes the reconstruction. Here we show a similar scenario in 3D. Here we compare our method results to the power crust reconstruction. Our method is sensitive to the topology of the object as we can detect topological events. We can thus monitor and control the genus of the results as shown here in the tail of the dragon and in more complex topological shapes. The mesh deformation is combined with a mesh optimization scheme which guarantees high mesh quality. The flexibility of using multiple fronts makes our method insensitive to the starting position of the deformable model. Once the deformable model is close enough to the point cloud, we apply final fitting. For this stage, we use a moving least square projection, which eventually maps the vertices of the mesh to the target shape. In the following, we show several examples of reconstructions using our algorithm.